Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Quizineer. Today, we're gonna focus on taking out that alpha bully in the Mala Caverns because I don't like the fact that it destroyed me. Or maybe, calling an audible on my audible, I have to figure out what to do with all these resources because I have no room here. Should I start to get rid of, I know it's like, I'm not the smartest I need to get rid of equipment, but I could do, I could take the spatula. Wait a minute, why do I have, oh, the Deba knife. This is a regular weapon, it's not, does it say what kind of... It just says weapon. I'm assuming it's a great sword. Is the amount of damage it does. Alright, so we have this. Hmm. We like that. Let's put this one back. We didn't much care for this one. This is just a blank slate one, so maybe we get rid of those. Tenderizer with extra flavor, or... The durian. The durian proc was good. It makes the uh, poison build a thing. This extra flavor, throwing out an additional umami bomb, but I don't have umami bombs. Unless a durian proc. Hmm. I'm gonna say for now, just hold on to it because we don't know. Death explodes an icy dash. Shocking skin, shocking dash. Get rid of the thorns, basically. Maybe we can get rid of that. Icy dash, shielded skin. A lot of boots. Shocking skin, poison skin. Please don't hug me. No, no, don't care about the pushback. Uh, poisoned people do so this would go well with this right this one's the these two go well together uh hmm knocking skin get rid of all the skin stuff for now I see dash shielded skin Death Explosion, Icy Dash. Right, I think that opens up the door to put most of this away. I have nine wood left over. So basically, I'm looking to get rid of all of these. Can I go sell these? That's the question. I think we did all our side quests, all right? Unless there's new ones out here, there aren't. All the water and pizza. How do I make the pizza? I'm gonna guess it's in the oven, because that would make the most sense. Uh, oh, I can make, how many pizzas was it? Bar oh, barbecue chicken pizza, not just pizza. 10 barbecue chicken pizzas. Is that a tier three? This. Or are you giving me barbecue chicken pizza for the pizza? I need reading comprehension stuff again. I'll give her 10 pizzas. You get 10 barbecue chicken pizzas. Okay. Brain is not doing so good today. All right, so one, two. There's four, five. They gotta get more, uh, higher Q limit. I think the next upgrade I do on the restaurant gets a higher Q limit. Let's 
So what is that? That is six, seven. No! How do I stop the pork chop? I, you can't stop it once it starts. That's terrible. Seven, eight, nine, and then ten is coming up. Here. I guess we'll put this in the fridge, huh? We'll go find Angel. Give them... How is it that late in the day already? Uh, Angel, Angel. Come here. I have pizza for you. Pizza, pizza. Give me the recipe. There I am. Barbecue chicken pizza. Alright, so now the question is, do we do... Do we do the... I should also upgrade. Do we do the Mala Caverns, or do we go for... the second boss of the Green Ruins, maybe? Fried beef, boiled beef, boiled pork, steamed rice. I wish I could pin things. Steamed rice, boiled beef, then f boiled pork. So I need the frying pan and the pot. Fried beef, boiled beef. Do I have enough? Ugh, so many things happening. Pop you for... Fried beef. Oiled beef. Fried beef. Oiled beef. And then also steamed rice. And then fried pork. It's probably boiled pork. I think it's boiled pork. Yeah, let's go check that out again while this happens. Otherwise, I have a whole just... three fried be fried porks. Hopefully I have enough boiled pork. Son of a... Alright. Time to fix our mistake. Boiled pork. I have exactly enough. Taking a heavy health penalty if we go to the to a dungeon. So yeah, let's do the green ruins to just not have to waste a day. Do 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 do, and then put the fried pork in the fridge. Oh yeah. Also, we want to see if we could sell our gear. Uh, upgrade. That one. Uh, that's it. He's out for the day. Here's Panda. Trade? Um... This can make the water for that lady. How much water do I need for that lady? Ten sparkling water? You got it. Yeah, you can't sell. 
you have to destroy. That's sad. Alright, so... Everything on here we're getting rid of. Okay. Now let's go make some ice for... I guess maybe we'll open the restaurant instead, because at this point, if I go in the green ruins, I lose so much health. But doing it this late, uh, we make the water here. So one, two... Oh, I had ice cubes already. I didn't have enough. I got ten from that trade. Oh, I see it now at the top. Discard cued dish. Oh, it's the second one, so I can't discard the one that's being made right now. But I can discard the one that's being queued. So five, six. I know these are all just side quests, but the moment that they become available to me, I have to do them. That's just the way my silly head works. Alright, now find the thirsty lady. Don't tell me she's not here today. Wasn't it Chantrell or something? She's usually... She's not around? That's Bri Oh, because Briquette is doing her thing. Let's go check something out over here, though. Carpenter Mance. You said you had some new things. Oh, some new designs. And a whole lot of stuff there. So we can just do it like this. Oh, if I was going for, like, a whole stone theme. Vintage stool. Well, I, guess, I guess this is all going to be, like... Once I get the ability to, like, serve nobles, I'm probably going to have to upgrade the way my stuff looks. So... The next upgrade is 2,000 coins. It will... give me... Wait a minute. Oh, I can make five meals at a time. There's... Is that what that means? One fridge. Four... Cooking stations. And... Counter space for five dishes. That's what that is. Okay. I don't want it. I don't want it anyway. I guess we'll do like a quick open the rest of the day and then go to the green ruins. I was planning on just not doing any restaurant stuff today, but we're doing it. Oh. Same button to exit is the same button to open the restaurant, but if you tap it, you leave. You have to hold it to open the restaurant. Come on, buddy. Get your life together. Your whole life. Just in time for the dinner rush. Oh, I don't- I hope none of them order sparkling water. Put that in the fridge, will you not order it? Well, yeah, they, they can't order- I can't give them something that's already made. Right. That means this whole wall gets pushed back, and I guess that it gives me more room for the three stations, right? When I upgrade it.
There is such a potential though for a bottleneck with the current setup. Because if I get enough customers, I could have six dishes going, but room for three. we're doing all right. Didn't even check what today's best chance... Well, if I have... I have to get it to where I could have four stations. Because then I could have all recipes available to me. Then I'm going to assume I probably would have to have multiple multiple ovens or frying pans and everything running once I get to like... I don't even know how far you could upgrade your restaurant. Because it looks like, the, like I said, the next one's going to push it back. You get to make this like a dining hall eventually. Like super huge. That'd be kind of cool. I to see my new table being used. You wouldn't get more dining space, per se. Because it's still going to be the same. It's going to open up this whole wall to here. Okay. And I can have some symmetry going on, because my brain loves symmetry. Thinking you put... Oh, I see how I'm going to do it. I can't put... I can't, for whatever reason, put a table here. Something has... You can't block this, possibly? I guess it would limit my ability to... Probably. dollars for that glass of water. I keep thinking it's like Moonlighter where you could, or the prices change based on there or whatever, but like it tells you in your recipe book that this recipe is worth this much money. I guess also that I probably would have to upgrade the restaurant's look to attract not regular people, get the tourists in here that are willing to spend the, the buku bucks on those tier 2, 3, and more dishes. Once I unlock them, of course. Alright, sir. May I take your order? I know you're in a rush. Something like a late-night baked potato. Close, get out of here. Okay. Ooh, two tier two is nice. Okay. We need fourteen hundred dollars today. Almost enough to do Wish we had more room. Right, to go to sleep. First thing, bright and early, go to the green ruins. Don't get caught up in side quests. If any, open up. Don't get, don't get sidetracked. Just go. Just go. Go, go, go. Look at the mailbox, though, because there's, if there's mail. Okay, there's no mail. I don't see side quest lady. Cool, she's not around. Did it say in my book? Hold on. Townsfolk. I think it was Chantrell. 
Which one are you, Chantrell? Was it Chantrell? Wait, Claire. Why am I thinking of a Chantrell? Is there even a Chantrell in here? Do I just want mushrooms for some reason? Uh... Eclair... I think it's you. Okay. You're a noblewoman of high status. Tell me what your... When you like to come around. No. Nope. All right, let's go. Let, let's let's just get out of here. Green ruins. We're gonna go to level six. Let's see what this weapon's like too, because this could be a mistake. Oh, it's a great sword. Okay, we might we might we we oh boy. To have that back. That hurts. But once I start swinging it, I better not stop swinging this thing because then it takes a while to load up again. Yeah, I need to just give myself some space between when I land and when I start swinging. That's gonna take a minute for my brain to process. By a minute, I mean like the whole video. and easy. Not easy, just quick. Don't insult them. I swear, I feel like games are always listening to what you say on, on microphone sometimes. It's half the time, I'll say something like, yeah, that was super easy, then around the corner comes, like, you know, an alpha bully. Look at all these freaking puff things. Great if I needed noodles or flour. They're for more than just noodles, flour, but yeah. Um, blocked off, blocked off, and arena time. Let's put it to the test. That guy's up. Pain. We have this runny guy. But they died from fire. I don't even know what my special is with this weapon. Hold on. Oh! Windscar! We're in a Yasha now! Got it! Understood. One hundred and twenty two damage per hit. Let's go. That guy's fast. I forget about that. He's fast. Around. 
have the chickens. All right, so I can I can cancel animation cancel basically. I, I don't I'm not stuck in the swing. If I see something coming to me, I can dodge out of it. Nice miss. Let's go. Uh, a tenderizer? What's in this tenderizer? Increase the duration of flame effects by one. It doesn't stack. Uh, I need the health, to be honest. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Hmm. do have the dash attack that inflicts flame. And the plate. The dash attack from the plates that inflicts flame. Whoa, buddy! Shamans I don't like because they give these guys in invincibility, basically, for a little bit. Or they drop a healing uh, area. Did I get rid of them? One twenty-two, and you're still standing. This thing probably has close to 400 health. Thing up here, except a bunch of chickens. I think I'm gonna have to start stocking up on ingredients again, because if I, if I begin to get more and more tier 2 and tier 3 orders and recipes, then... That uses multiple ingredients per order. One other, uh... It's the same one. It's not another. Please don't poison mist everywhere, thank you. And the fatty one, the fatty pork... ...peak... ...gives a, uh... It's a tank, it's a tank. Those are the words I'm looking for. Words do not come easy to me anymore. I don't know why. And this is the way we came in, buddy. Was the exit here all along? Where didn't we go? I guess down here, huh? Oh, somewhere down here. Hmm. We did the arena. Successfully. We left the arena. Ah, uh, no. Yes. Brink. Is there another arena coming up, or were you just being nice? over here. This doesn't look like the exit. Luffy's can stay. There we go. That's how you take care of the spice, dude. Explode, go nut. Let's go. Begins gone. Me the kale. Thank you. And that's the way out. Ooh. 
if I start running out of backpack space, I'm gonna... I should probably do it now, just get rid of... the resources, because I have a ton of them back at the... at the, uh... place. We don't need this. Got plenty of that. Yeah. That's all we want in our inventory for now. We want space. This is the round that we fight the chicken. I do remember seeing some wording about deflecting attacks. It just looks like I'm parrying them. Alright, this is getting to be a little bit messy. Excuse me. I guess with the the great swords the shield isn't invincibility for whatever it does have a bit of a limit on the amount of I guess it gives oh I could just do this I have to break through Go straight after these guys. There we go. No more. I can't go toe to toe with that dude. You're easy enough to distract. Just unload on him with plates. There we go. Um. Gotta get rid of that last little puffy. There we go. And this nonsense. How? Oh, it was the. All right, take a drink. This is an arena. This is the chicken fight. Do we want the arena? Yes, because I'm a loot goblin. Oh, don't go, don't do that. Don't do that with that guy. This was a mistake. Not entirely. Because they have to come through a bunch of spikes to get me now. Alright, so the hardest thing about my special attack with this blade is aiming it. Because it's like a precision attack. Hey, hey, hey. A precision attack, all oh, this guy. Yep. Keep hitting them. Stun him, stun him, there we go. One hit. Nice. And then it's just a couple of security chickens. We got this. There we go. Alright, we took like a decent amount of damage. Let's see if there's a well. No, this is the resource. Only I needed this stuff. I have no room for any of it. 
Is there more down here? No, okay. Nothing in the jars. Mala seems to have more stuff in jars than we do here. Um, do I... I need to explore this. Oh, I thought it was like another one. I thought I was out of it already. Uh, explore here to see if there's a... Well, maybe. Oh! Let's go! Pay respects. This last... I think it's time-based. I don't think it's like a certain amount of shot shoots. Keep on moving. Missed it completely. Slam. Nope, throw. There we go. Didn't get hit. That's the first time I've done a, a, a perfect run on it. Nice. But then we encounter this stuff and I get absolutely annihilated. I only hit one of them. Okay, it's really precise. How you can't set off the trap. Very uncool. Um. Oh, it's probably there. Go out the top over here, the left side. Yep. Floor four, where we never really have any good luck. We have to do four, five, then six. I have one boba left, which is unusual. Maybe because we're getting better? I would like to think so. I think it's also because I can keep a little bit of distance between myself and whatever I'm attacking. If the spatula was super up close, this, I could have a little bit of room. Alright, we have the spicy guy. And the pepper peat. Run. There we go. All right, a little bit of damage. I'm still getting used to that guy. Doing a whole lot better than when we first met him with the great, the great weapons. Twenty second cooldown for that wonderful miss. We get a decent amount of fatty. Uh, Fatty meat. Which is good. I have to attack one with my eye on the other. Okay, we're good. Let's see. No, F. Okay, my. When Scar is ready, we're healing. We're healing. And choose two paths. Let's go this way. Oh, 
I miss it. It threw the uh, coconuts. I didn't see it. Whoop. Take care of the ranged attack people first. That wasn't meant for anybody, apparently. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you dare with that fire. That was a lot. That That's gonna hurt me. I want to use my Boba. I don't want to use my Boba before I get to the boss. I have no idea what the boss contains. Like, what, what, what is it? I don't even know. Is there even going to be a boss, or is this all for naught? Later, chicken. On wow. We're trying to do a cool like, yeah, I see you come and just annihilate it with one shot, but nope. This is all resources. Yes. And it doesn't connect to where we were, or does it? Floor four is huge. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay. It, no, I hit one person. Okay. I'm not sure what that... That circle does. Does that increase, like, their attack speed or atta damage output or what? It's definitely a buff of some kind on them only. Shaman. Watch the beefy boy. I had I wish I could figure that out faster how to, how to use that properly there we go Oko guy is gone all right we're getting a little bit more intricate with our traps oh I do not want to fight this thing in this room Come on in, come on in. The water's fine. Hmm. They're shooting in such a... There we go. My pepper dude's still alive. They were shooting... Like, I wanted them all to shoot at once so I could just jump in there and hit them with one attack. Loco nut, let's go. The two full plate assaults is going to take care of the little pepper dude. Dead end. How confidently all the chickens come at you in a group? Okay. I 
And then you kill one of their friends, and they all just fly away. Alright, not this way either. I guess over uh, a far, far left? We were on the right path, it looks like. But if this is what floor four is like, what is five? We'll get to know now. What is my backpack situation? Get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. Enough of those at home. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Yes. Get rid of some of that. Alright, we're good. Yep, that didn't do a thing. Sweet. So it gives me cheese and tasty spice. is, when do Kales launch, like, what about Kale has, like, a seed or, like, a thing? Well, I guess it doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to make sense of, like, thought there were weird avocado pits that were being thrown at me, but I know avocados don't look like that. But I'm like, maybe that's what, oh god, we got out of there just in time. Uh... Having never seen how avo like, what avocados look like before they're picked, I thought maybe it was part of like the plant, part like the they're part of a flower or whatever. But no, they're just weird-looking kale that shoot green orbs at me. I don't know how that plays into kale. Oh, we got doubles. Okay. Also good to note that the third attack on this greatsword does not parry, deflect, or whatever the wording is, projectiles. Only the first two that do the left to right attack. And I'm assuming that my, my dash attack, the tornado. Breaking that, there's no way across. Okay. So then, over there. All the way back at the beginning, kind of. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have a feeling this entire episode's gonna end in tragedy and failure. It's that sense of doom and gloom. Oh. That playing Elden Ring has instilled in me. We wanna save that. Okay, peace out for a minute, drink your potion. That is... that is danger?
Pepper gone? Pepper's gone, okay. Why over there? Wasn't supposed to be over there. Alright, same deal. We're gonna have to run through, kill the projectiles. Got hit. Not ideal. Corner. We're in a corner. Not good. Alright, that guy's gone. As long as I got rid of the pot, dude. I was fine. The potcher? I believe it's called. It's supposed to be a poacher. Overkill. Got it. Okay. This looks like it's the only way to proceed through. Maybe. Let's see if I can do something without the arena. There was another way over here. Yes, come to me. So it's when they see their chicken friend die, not so much when they get attacked, that they that they literally chicken out. Not, wait a minute, maybe there is a way over here? Damn it, I'm looking at the mini-map. They're all coming this way. Why do I do that? Why do I, why do I do the thing? thing being taking uh, silly risks that seldom pay off. It's gonna hurt. Like that. That didn't need to happen. Oh man, we're, we're not gonna get the floor six. If this keeps up. You were doing so well. Oh. Oh god. These little rice dudes get on my nerves. Almost as much as the, uh, mushroom minions. Pretty the shaman. Uh... Okay, so there is no way around except for the, uh, the arena. We have to take the arena fight. There's... yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's organize our ingredients. Oh. What could we... Take some fatty pork stuffs. Let's take some tasty spices. Some coconuts. I know we have eggs. I think a lot of cheese on the menu lately. 
And let's take the sap. That's what we take if we die. Pushing forward. These maps get huge. Alright, we have Beefy Boy at the beginning. What? Don't take the fight that way. That's gonna get you hurt. Or do that. Alright, once we take care of the Kales. Then we take care of the Shaman. Friggin' beef! Oh. Alright, so this is hard. <laughs> this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Well, we made it back with a handful of ingredients. For all that trouble. And it's sweet day. And I... Have no pork. We can get rid of... Oh, we actually don't have any flour. That's oopsies. Um, Rice. And a single tomato can go out the door. Actually, because of these things, the prep dishes we don't need. That's basically what it is. But what... Can I, u can I eat these things? I want to see something. Put this here, and if I go into my bag, can I... Oh. This is just stuff to give people, I guess. So, I don't know why you gave me that, but it's going away. And so are the fried pork. So there we go. Uh, let's go see if we can deliver some cold, refreshing water. Or, uh, whoever they are. Uh... Player. Oh. Yeah, furniture buffs. The kind of furniture you have in your restaurant will affect your day-to-day -day profits. Different types of furniture will attract certain customers. When purchasing furniture, take a look and see if your customer might be attracted to it. Yep. Confirmed. Alright, so let's go see if... So we need, we need to get... How do you know what kind of cust- Oh, I see now. So this is all just basic stuff. Once you start getting into... Where was it? Oh, this- Oh! You get those people. So if I were to just- Is it more just the decorative stuff? Those are for the nobles. These are for the elderly. These are for the kids, it looks like. Let me see something. Let me, let me consult the manual. Um, townsfolk. No. Customers? Okay. So we had... Just straight up townsfolk. We had... Elderly, and the picture was of just, I guess, nobles. I get some boots if I pay off a $10,000 debt. Isn't that great? I guess we're going to start sprucing the place up, huh? This is how we start getting nobles to come in, right? Do we want the nobles? Can I afford to have the nobles show up? I don't think so. Elderly people are slow and they take longer. Does that mean 
if I put down something to attract a specific type of customer, it dilutes it. Not that it dilutes it, but like, what am I trying to say? You get X customers a day. Putting this here would make the percentage of elderly greater than everybody else. Same with this. So I would reduce the amount of elderly people I get, but they're also more difficult to serve. Townsfolk seem to take care of themselves. Does that affect their tipping and stuff? Let's see. They don't like stonework. I like stonework. Cozy window. Stone flooring, stone wall. I guess we're gonna start making things a little cozy, huh? That's a thousand right there. That's 1600. That's basically all of my money. No! I was too quick with that. <laughs> I screwed up. I screwed up, man. Let's get a window. Alright, so we have no more money. Now we're in here. Let's redecorate. Cozy wall. Cozy floor. But I like my stone floors. For that. Um, cozy window. Oh. What other stuff do I have here? I have five spots to work with on that. We got a cozy stool, huh? So if I were to put... If I were to... All these and put in the long table, right? Now I have three, seven, eight people I could serve at a time. I want to see something here, too. Deluxe fridge. I can't upgrade any of this until I unlock the next zone. This I could upgrade. I just need a lot of money. It's all the same. 20 across the board. I don't have enough wood for this. Hmm. Hmm. The wood's low. We got a lot of stone. Got. I'm gonna organize it this way. But I could clearly see how much of each thing we have. Full row of this. Barely a row of that. Okay. We don't have a lot of stuff uh, for what we do, but we don't. Okay. I feel like the most I'll ever need is like a row of each thing at this point. If wood, stone, petrified wood, sunstone, but then at, at one point I think we're going to stop needing like certain ingredients, I guess. Maybe just lesser amounts. Although it looks like the wood amount increases and the stone amount increases with each time. But like I said over here, this one just wants salt, wood, and moonstone, and more wood and stone. So there's going to be a point in time for upgrades where I don't need the zone-specific materials, but I'm assuming that I'm going to need them for the old carpenter man. I just want to check this before I, uh... Yeah. Hey, it's lunchtime. Everybody's, uh, clamoring for some food? No, thank you. 
This just needs stone and wood and money. And then this stuff here... Yeah, there's stuff out here that needs sunstone. And I'm gonna guess moonstone on the next tier. But nothing real. Oh, hardwood? Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's that's basically that. And then, would anybody else need things like wood, like hardwood and sunstone and moonstone and all that stuff? Let's see. You're just money. If I were to take my knife... I like this knife, actually. It's, it's better than I thought it was going to be. This just requires that. Money and... Okay. Understood. So I guess the best way to go about upgrading things would be upgrade, then run your restaurant for the day. Gonna add frost. So, if I were to place this here, and I want to say, hey, change that up. Okay. Understood. And then with you, the encyclopedia of stuff to do. But how do I know what's going to do what? Aha! So if I want to get, if I want to start working towards a build, I want to do, say if I wanted uh, poison damage, right? There's that green skull there. I have to look at my recipes. You tell me what you do? No. That would have been too cool. How do you know what does what? I gotta figure that out. That's, that's the only piece to this puzzle that I'm still confused, not confused on, but I'm still trying to figure out is I figured out before I put like a spicy soup or something in here and it gave me toasty damage or something something with fire on it because that made sense. Then I put sparkling water which came from ice gives me freezing stuff. So I'll figure this out eventually. Eventually. But now I gotta go sleep because if I don't sleep it won't save my progress. But uh, yeah. That is going to do it for this episode of Let's Play is an ear. Um, learning a lot. Learned that I am still not quite ready for the higher end, the or the the deeper deeper parts of the dungeon. Um, but that's also because I'm again using a new weapon. I think if I run it again, I would be a little bit better off because I'm getting better with the timing on dodging attacks and everything. But I do want to see what happens when I beat that second boss and when I beat the Mala Caverns, and then. I'm thinking that, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the progress of the map is gated by Ibirico. So I think once I paid off my parents' first debt is when it opened up the caverns. So... I guess the plan for now would be open up the restaurant, get some money, Give my gear to Riquette to upgrade my sword damage. Then again, run the restaurant until I get like the $10,000. And then, because Iberic was there all the time, maybe upgrade the restaurant again. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're going to do. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video while I 
theory craft my stit, but what I'm gonna do next, which I probably will abandon right out of the gate like I seemingly always do, because ooh shiny must go do. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, uh, leave some comments, share the video, share the channel, all of those things are the best way to support uh, what I'm doing here, and I really do appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.